Welcome back to the three-hour news show on Sea Today, and you are now watching our signature segment, See the Stories. Now, I often scroll through uh, social media mm -hmm. and come across many sea creatures I'm not familiar with. And like ones on land, of course. I, I saw well, some from you. You yes, always I repost yeah. those videos, Me right? Me and my whales obsession, yes. and also some marine uh, animals obsession. And there's actually one particular, um, what do you call it? Starfish mm -hmm. that looks like a brain. Like a brain. brain. I don't know. I, I don't know what that called. But you've been speaking seen brain. Yeah, you know, <laughs> just like. Brain model, something like that. All right. <laughs> now, speaking of which, there is a content creator who shares about sea creatures that he encounters on uh, around the beaches or in the sea, explaining what they are. Now, joining us now is Peter, also known as the Instagram handle at Malatak Alam or Scanning the, na uh, the Nature, a content creator who explores and explains some of the sea creatures. Hey, Peter. Hi guys! Oh, Thank I you reckon for you're not today. you you you're not a crab or starfish <laughs> like <laughs> like in the Little Mermaid thingy. But uh, Peter, thank you so much for joining us. Um, what time is it now? There is it eight already? I think it, it now is uh, nineteen hundred. Ah, okay. okay. So uh, Peter, uh, yeah. before we dive into your content, could you share how you conduct your research and gather information about sea animals and also sea creatures okay uh, most of information i share based on my actual experience in the sea and seeing their behavior in the wild so i saw what animals do but I also gather any information available i can find on google but sometimes i'm not really expert in this field actually but sometimes other people who comments on my content help me a lot ah, because at first go. i thought you might be a marine biologist exactly. right. or you, you did go to school for that particular uh, uh, thing, yes, particular, yes. Uh, uh, mm. what you call it? Uh, uh, discipline study? Discipline, yeah. Yeah, right. that's actually okay. true. So, so why uh, sea creatures? Why did you uh, choose that as your um, specific area to uh, discuss in your social media? Okay. Um, Actually, I started making content uh, about sea creatures, I think, on late 2021 because at that time, uh, COVID uh, strike, so it affected my job. So I work in hospitality industry, mm. so basically I had no job. So I went back to my hometown and filming some contests about agriculture and sea animals. And then uh, my first sea animals content uh, became viral and mm. even got featured in national television no. and then after that I knew this is that like the kind of content I will share in the future uh, so where is, yeah, where is your hometown uh, again my experience yeah. uh, I, I came from Natuna Island oh, oh, oh of, course. Yeah, of course you got abundance <laughs> of, of sea creatures that you don't really see here in the uh, shores of Jakarta I think yeah right yeah, yeah. so that story can you now um, I know basically uh, agree that when we say that that was the kind of um, uh, thing that inspired you into choosing this particular uh, theme for your content? Yes, uh, that's it. Um, I think also my, my inspiration comes from everyone that comments on my content because I was so surprised at that time because so many people don't know the secrets that I show them. Even that is just a symbol like sea sponges. A lot of people don't know about sea sponges. And and so many people also don't realize how dangerous uh, how dangerous some sea creatures are. Mm. So I know that my content need to be like in educational type. So I will mm. share uh, content and also I will share some knowledge about the sea creatures. Not only just showing how oh this creature is pretty, this creature is uh, good. No, I I try to make something like more educational content, something like that. Well, like uh, what we like what we are seeing at the moment in our screen, uh, Peter, that particular fish looks like yeah. a butterfly only in the water. Right. And uh, that certainly jogged my awareness of how very uh, 
unknowledgeable myself is. Yeah, me too. Because I don't know what kind of fish that, uh, that is. Mm -hmm. And also, um, what I want to ask you is, what is the most, or the weirdest, I might say, the weirdest looking uh, marine creatures that you've ever encountered since 2021 you started this particular account? Um, a lot actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a lot. I think oh, one of the weirdest things, I think this is simple for many people, but I think the weirdest one is octopus. Mm -hmm. Because octopus is like, uh, some. I think it's most like, more like creatures from another planet. They can, uh, they can change their color and they can change their their shape, something like that. I think the, the, even I found a lot of uh, octopus, but I still think that octopus is the weirdest one. All right, so, but on that sense, uh, I want to know, uh, with this kind of uh, content uh, theme, uh, you might have had a lot of challenges that you encounter in creating the content about sea animals and creatures. Um, what are the limitations that you've you've been facing uh, ever since you started the content? Um, a lot, actually, but uh, <laughs> I think my simplification is like, because I take my contents in the wild, mm -hmm. so there's no planning at all. So I make no planning mm -hmm. when making content. So I just go straight to the sea and see what happens. I never plan uh, making any content. So by doing that, so I spend like uh, five to six hours Mm -hmm. uh, on the low tide on the sea, but only produce only like three to four content. I think that's the hardest part because I spent a lot of hours only produce like like so little content to make. <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised because um, uh, before this interview, I scroll, uh, I scroll your Instagram, Melancak mm Alam, -hmm. and I, I noticed that uh, your videos are recorded on the shallow waters. Mm, I mean, he's right. not in the water, in uh, his, he's not doing scuba diving or yeah. something, and that made me so surprised because uh, there's so many creatures on that. You know, that you can encounter on the shallow water. Exactly, you don't. Really you don't water, uh, right? Uh, is is that right? Uh, or sometimes do you scuba dive? Tell us about it. Uh, most of my content actually on low tide because it's easier for me. Mm. Uh, I do some snorkeling only, but mm. I, I don't do diving. Yeah, okay. I think that's the the thing that I only get only do. <laughs> that's amazing, actually. That's like shallow water. Yeah, never, shallow water. You never see. really thought of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw one on your uh, Instagram account, uh, uh, Gurita Biru something, right? <laughs> is that is that dangerous one or yes. no? Yes, up. So that's uh, in oh, English. That called uh, blue ring. Blue ring. Blue, blue octopus. ring octopus. Is that one dangerous yeah. or no? Uh, I think uh, if you call it dangerous, yes, it is dangerous. Huh? It's like very venomous creatures. Oh. But when I, I see them in the wild, I found them. Uh, I see like they uh, they behave like uh, I like other octopus. They just be there and just be octopus. Right. They they not aggressive at all. Okay. Yes, I know they are uh, very dangerous. They have very uh, uh, deadly venom. Uh huh. Oh, but okay. they're not aggressive at all. Okay. When you see it, when you see it, when you find it on the wild, I, uh, my suggestion is like, just see it, but don't touch it. Because, uh, uh, we never know, like, Peter, but, uh, but they can happen at any time. I see. You, you said earlier that you have no degree in marine biology uh, or some right. sort. You just learn from your followers, from the experience, things like that. Now, I'm curious, uh, have you ever experienced um, something unpleasant like for example, being beaten by something right. or yeah. like uh, things like that. Because uh, when you don't have a degree in mm. marine biology, you it's it's impossible for you to know everything, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. You have to wait, to identify. identify yourself. And sometimes uh, you, you can be right and you can be wrong. <laughs> have you ever experienced something uh, scary, let's say, or? Yes, uh, uh, pretty much. Um, but if I don't know about the, the things, I just post on my stories and ask my followers if they knew. I think oh, it, I in this time, we can, almost wow. any information we can find online, we, get, we can ask our followers what they think about these creatures, have 
uh, have they ever found it? I think stuff like that. Uh, I also known an application known as iNaturalis. So there's a lot of information about uh, the species of sea creatures there that I can access to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is actually okay. very, very wise. I might when very wise. Might of course, wrong, trying to get everybody I, involved. I just admit it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, sometimes I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you must do a lot of research, at least I know before you start jumping in to any yeah, people, yeah. right? I, post, I do a lot of research because, yeah. like, uh, I I realize that my my followers is growing big, uh -huh. so I I try to be really careful when I share information. Mm -hmm. So it's not like uh, just some things like uh, somebody said. I also like to confirm if I know this right. just okay. is like dangerous or this is just like uh, very fragile i have to confirm it maybe like uh, find it on google first mm. and know more about these people i share it online amazing so peter do you have any long-term goals or maybe perhaps aspirations as a content creator in this particular uh, field um maybe become an inspiration for others to okay. protect the sea because the sea is like very beautiful, we have to protect it. I hope, uh, I hope to become someone who inspire people to do it. Mm. All right. So maybe um, I'm I'm gonna ask this uh, question. Uh, it's very personal to you only, like uh, very close to your heart. What is your favorite animal or story in your content so far, according to you, not your followers? Um. I think for me, still uh, a blue ring octopus because, mm, like yeah. I told you before, that I always read, uh, I always read about uh, blue ring octopus become like very dangerous animal. Yeah. We mm. we cannot touch it. We we should avoid it. But when I meet in meet it, like I said before, they just really calm and they just behave like other octopus gracefully. And they glow the blue ring. Yeah, they they are they must. They have to be, they have like uh, venomous, uh, yeah, venomous, deadly venomous, mm -hmm. deadly venom, mm -hmm. but they don't dangerous, I think. Mm. Ah, cool. See, that's good to know. Peter, before we go to the, uh, to the last question, um, you are now in a uh, 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 thousand island, Pulau Seribu, right? So we're just wondering for yes, somebody like me who's never... Uh, had a you know a moment or time to visit there. Can you tell us if and when I go there? Can you let let me know or let us know what is to expect when you go to the uh, to the beaches there? What you expect? Kind of secret <coughs> you expect to see? Can we expect to see? In Pulau Seribu? Yes. Uh, because this there is uh, like a lot of island here. Mm -hmm. uh, you can expect like anything. Because like when I go to this island, I found these creatures. But I when I go to another island, I found another creature. So that when you visit uh, every island, it will surprise you because like uh, people, be, even they are really close. They they have like unique creatures. I think mm -hmm. something some kind like that because like very unique to this place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So each island that you visit there, you're gonna see, you're gonna encounter different species, yeah. Yeah, more like yeah, something uh, kind of like that. Okay, good to know. And for us, <laughs> and for us, who is definitely not experts <laughs> in sea creatures, do you have any advice or perhaps do's and don'ts uh, when we encounter uh, sea animals and sea creatures that we're not familiar with? I think it's simple, like uh, don't touch anything. Yes. If you don't I know agree. when, <laughs> when it, when, uh, what it is, especially, uh, especially when it's look cute, because sometimes <laughs> people uh, look, <laughs> see things cute, they want to grab it, touch it, but that's the dangerous things of the sea. Uh, sometimes the cute things uh, can be dangerous, mm -hmm. like blue octopus, mm -hmm. for example, and also like sea li um, sea lion. Lion, lionfish, I mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> they, they are really cute. Mm. So don't touch anything that you don't know. Yeah. Sea animals mostly do not look aggressive at all. So they they, they don't behave aggressive, uh, like snakes or other dangerous creatures on land. Mm. Sea animals like tend to look calmer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even when we are close, they just calm. But 
we don't know like but they can happen anytime so better do not touch if we don't know what we are seeing all right so it's like telling our kids not to touch anything when they go inside a mall or a store. <laughs> exactly <laughs> i do agree <laughs> All but right. you can learn though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter, thank you very much for uh, for sharing. I know you're having a lot of, uh, yeah, hopefully thank, a great time there so in Pulau Seribu. <laughs> yes, we'll talk to you again soon, okay? Take care. Sure, thank you. Bye, Peter. Bye. Thank you. Peter at Malachak. Wow. Um, so this is actually the, the uh, picture of the blue ring octopus that go. Peter has been mentioning before. Can you see it? Like a couple of times, mm. multiple of times. Can you see? So that is cute. That, that is, this is cute. Yes. So this is what you call beautifully dangerous. Yes, beautifully it is. dangerous. So uh, one <laughs> th rule of thumb when you go to uh, the sea, when you, you want to see sea creatures, um, remember this. LBDT. What's that? What's that? Look but don't touch. Ah. Same rule applies on scuba diving. That's why the position right. you, you need to do true, this when true, you're diving. True. Like you cannot like. Yeah, touchy around. too touchy. All right, good tips, good tips. All right, guys, see the stories will continue after the break and we'll have videos of, of course, cute animals. Don't, don't, don't go anywhere. <laughs>